Good morning, Brook Scholars. This is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, we got the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Yeah, but don't stop there. No, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, hey, bro, scholars, where's the party at? Right here with these books. Hey, bro, scholars, what time is it? It is time to motivate you. Good morning, scholars. I have missed you guys so much. I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing, peaceful, yet productive spring break, April break. Um... You know, it. we had a week off, but it's time to get right back into learning the same way you guys were doing before break. And we're going to get right into it. Um, at the end of this video, you'll get to share a little bit about what you did or what was your favorite part of the break. But in the meantime, let's get started right away. So we're going to start with our mixed review for our chunks that we should know in a snap these are very very important because when you get to a word that's tricky and you know the chunks and what they say that could help you blend the word and figure out the tricky word you know even i as an adult do not know all of the words in the world and i still use things like um my chunks to read tricky words so you guys are gonna do the same so let's do it O R E says or. U I says ooh, like in suit. Oh my goodness. O O R says or. Let me just double check these there. Awesome. Final G H says like an enough. KN says, mmm. EW says, ooh. EA says, e. OY says, oi, like in toy. OI says, oi, like in coin. A-I says A, long A. A-Y says A, like in say. A by itself says A or A. Remember, you can use both your short and your long vowel sounds. O-Y, I'm sorry, O-W says ow or O, like in cow or like in no. I-G-H says I, long I, like in the word right, like right-handed. Well, this is my left, but right-handed. L-E says ooh. S-I-O-N says shun. T-I-O-N says shun. These are the chunks for today. If you had a little trouble um, remembering those chunks, feel free to rewind the video. We have nothing but time, friends, and I want you guys to be amazing readers, um, which you guys already are, but stronger readers. All right, next up we have our heart words. Friends, today I do not have the post, the index cards with the heart words, so I'm gonna um, put the heart words on the screen, and you're just gonna follow along. So here we go. Almost. A L M O S T. Almost. Funny. F U N N Y. Funny. Have. H A V E. Have. Jump. J U M P. Jump. No, K N O W. No, must M U S T. 
must open o p e n open people p e o p l e people ride r i d e ride round r o u n d round friends i'm going to put up a list of the words and let's see if you can say them in a snap I'm sure you guys did an amazing job. Let's do it together. Almost, funny, have, jump, no, must, open, people, ride, round. Awesome, awesome, awesome job, friends. You guys did an amazing job. These are hard words that you should know how to read and write in a snap. Right now, I want you to pause the video. I'm gonna have all 10 hard words on the screen. And I want you to write each heart word three times. This is going to make sure that it is, um, you know, kept in your brain. And you know how to write these heart words in a snap. All right. Take a few moments to pause the video and get those three heart words down. Go. Alrighty, friends, next up we have grammar. And today is a pretty awesome um, day to get back into grammar because we're actually, actually going to be looking for parts of grammar in a poem. And you guys, if you guys remember the poetry slam, you guys rocked it. So um, I want you to be thinking about what are those things that you're feeling, your five senses? you're seeing your these are all what actions are happening um so today's focus is going to be on verbs so a quick review a verb is a action is any action that a noun is doing it could be blinking, touching, talking, like I've been talking this whole time, listening. You guys are listening. You guys have been writing. Those are all actions. Um, the, uh, an action that the wind can do is blow. Um, there are also being verbs, which I will list on the bottom here. Um, being verbs usually come before or after the action verb. Um, oh, I'm sorry, before or after the noun or action verb, some, I guess it depends on like how you write your sentence, but let's get straight to it. Remember, we're gonna focus on only verbs. So, our poem today goes as follows. Trees, wonderful trees, waving in the breeze, birds lay eggs and nest, squirrels climb up to rest, Many fruits to be eaten. Mm, I wonder if there's any actions, action verbs. Maple syrup to sweeten. Cool shade from the sun. Bright leaves by the ton. So if you could please take care of our trees. That was such an awesome poem. It is so relatable because um, spring is coming. Anyways, um, Let's set up our, our, not that spring is coming, spring is here and the leaves and flowers are blooming. Let's set up our paper or our um, dry erase board. So again, verbs. Boom. I'm going to do maybe, again, 12 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Then I have all this space just in case I end up having more than um, 12 verbs. So take a moment to set up your page like this.
Hopefully by now you've gotten that down. If not, it is okay. You can pause the video and get back to uh, and press play when you are ready setting up um, your paper or slate. Alrighty, friends. So it is your turn to reread the poem. It was an awesome poem. Now I want you to think, what verbs, what are some actions are, that are happening or are there being verbs in this sentence? Maybe. Alrighty, friends, get started now. Remember to go sentence by sentence and ask yourself, are there any verbs in this sentence? Alrighty friends, hopefully by now you have written down your verbs. If not, it is okay. Pause the video and finish up. So, I didn't find any being verbs. No big deal. But I found a bunch of other verbs, of action verbs, I should say. Um, so let's get right to it. So, hopefully you have as many as I did. And let's go sentence by sentence. Sentence number one was, sorry friends, I'm doing it right. Okay, trees, wonderful trees. No verbs there, no actions. Wave, uh, sentence number two, waving in the breeze. Hmm, if you quote waving, Give yourself a check. Mm -hmm. Waving in the breeze is an action that the tree is doing. Third sentence. Birds lay, birds lay eggs and nest. Hmm. What's the action that the bird is doing? It's lay. It's laying. Or it's, it's, it lays an egg or eggs. So that's sentence number three. Give yourself a check. Now, if you put laying or lay eggs, the eggs part is actually not a verb. Eggs are a thing, therefore it's a noun. So make sure you're only writing the verb, just the word that is a verb. Uh, birds lay eggs and nest. A nest is a thing, so therefore it's not a verb. Squirrels climb up to rest. Well, what's the squirrel doing? The action the squirrel is doing is climb. So that's sentence number four. Give yourself a check. Fruit, many fruits to be eaten. Hmm, eaten. It's an action that you're doing with the fruit. You're eating it or it's going to be eaten. That's number five. Sentence five, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Maple syrup to sweeten. 
you put sweet in because it's something that you could do. It's an it's you it's an action that you're doing. You can sweeten coffee. You can sweeten lemonade. You can sweeten um, your milk by putting cereal in it. So to sweeten something is an action. So that's sentence six. Give yourself a check. Um, cool shade. Cool shade from the sun. No verbs there. There's no action being, there's no action that's happening. Bright leaves by the ton. No action there. Bright is an adjective, it's just describing what the leaves look like. Um, leaves is the noun, by the, not a noun or a verb. Ton, a ton is just a, is a noun. So if you could please take care of trees. So if you put take, as I'm sorry, that's sentence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, as your last verb, great job. So take the word take itself um is a verb because you can actually take something. But in this in this um in this sentence, to take care is actually the action that's happening because you it, it taking care of of trees is an action that you can actually do. So. Hopefully you did an amazing job on this. Um, if you had any trouble, no big deal. Reach out to your homeroom teacher and we will help you out. Grammar is um, grammar is something we're all working on. So I know with practice, we will get better and stronger. Alrighty, friends. Last but not least, we have dictation. It is my favorite, favorite part um, other than grammar of word study so it's been a while so let's go over our writing habits our proper writing habits when you write a sentence friends what should you be thinking about as you're writing it think about the beginning of the sentence the ending of the sentence words in between Alrighty. if you said your sentence should always start with a capital great job if you say your sentence should always end with a period, great job. Thinking about capitals, what things should be capitalized? Well, proper nouns, days of the week, and months. These are all things that should be capitalized. Proper nouns are specific names of nouns. Uh, let's see, when you get to a tricky word, you're tapping out every sound. If it's a heart word, by now, we should know how to write a ton of heart words in a snap. And this one, I don't think we need to really go over because you guys have been doing an amazing job, but definitely don't forget those finger spaces because you don't want your words to, to seem jumbled, okay? So the sentence for today, for Monday, is, are you almost done? with your black and white painting? Again, are you almost done with your black and white painting? Mm, it just so happens that I have a black and white shirt on. One more time, all together. Are you almost done with your black and white painting? 10. Go. Nice and neat handwriting, okay, friends? Also, punctuation marks. Make sure you're using the punctuation mark that matches the sentence. I'm done with my sentence, so I'm gonna go back and double check my work and double 
check my writing habits. Okay. All right, friends, I'm all done. Hopefully you are too. Let's go over it together. If you have, are you almost done with your black and white painting? I said I'll give you a rain a kiss. Mwah. You listen to the question, to the, well, technically it's a question. You listen to the, the, the sentence that I was saying and you got every single word down. Now let's go over our proper writing, proper writing habits. Did I start my sentence with the capital? Did you start your sentence with the capital? If the A and R is capitalized, I'll say it, I'll give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Punctuation mark. If you have a question mark, give your brain a kiss. Mwah. This is a question that I'm asking. Are you almost done with your black and white painting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's go sentence by sentence. R is a heart, I'm sorry, word by word. R is a heart word, A-R-E, R. U is a heart word, Y-O-U, U. Almost is a heart word, A-L-M-O-S-T, almost. Done is a heart word, D-O-N-E, done. With is a heart word, W-I-T-H, with. Your is a heart word. Y O U R. Your. Black is a heart word. That's also a word that you can stretch out. Black. Black. Final C K says K. Um, B L A C K. Black. And is a heart word. A N D. And. White is a heart word. W H I T E. White. If you spelled it W-I-T-E, phonetically, that is correct. But we know hard words are words that we should know in a snap, so you should have spelled it like this. Painting is not a hard word, it's a tricky word. So, A, A I says A, A, paint, paint, and then ing, I-N-G says ing. This is a word you could have chunked together. I mean, you could have figured out the chunks in order to write it. Painting. If you did your dictation sentence like this, I'll say it, I'll give your brain a kiss. Uh, you guys, I know you all rocked it, and I am so excited to see all of your work trickle in on Monday on Seesaw. Um, to end today off, I want to do the It's a Monday song. It's kind of like it's a Friday song, and I just want to tell... The skirt, tell me, you know, I can't hear you, but you know, I can, I, I feel like I can still sense you guys. And if you guys talk to me through the screen, I can hear you guys. Okay. It goes like, the, oh, and I want you to take a moment to think about what was your favorite part of free. Take that 10 seconds to think. Okay. I know what my favorite part was. All right. So it goes like this, it's a Monday, it's a Monday, it's the beginning of the week, it's the first day, so what did you do? Scholars, it's on you. Ask yourself, what was your favorite part of the weekend? And make sure you, you answer the question in a complete sentence. My favorite part of, I said weekend, but of your of April break was, All right, hopefully by now you told me or someone in the house what the what your favorite part of um, April break was. So as you guys were letting me know, Simba was whispering too. He said his favorite part of April break was watching Disney movies with Miss Vargas. We watched uh, Brave. We watched um, How to Train a Dragon. And, you know, being that Simba is a Disney character, he was so excited. My favorite part of break was definitely um, cooking. 
and making a ton of desserts. Um, okay, I didn't make a ton. I made one. Uh, I made a banana pudding, and it was real good. Um, so hopefully you guys have an amazing Monday. Come back strong, and I can't wait to see all of your work to see who I'm going to shout out on Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.